Hey, it's some old guy coding again. And uh, today I wanted to show you some software I was working on last weekend. If you go out to my website, someoldguycoding.com, you'll see a new tab out here. And just one software item, it's a CNC maze generator. So the reason I made this is because if you look on, you know, Google and you look for a maze, it's it's all driven, it's all drawn, you know, with walls where I don't want to cut the walls, I want to cut the part between the walls. So I just decided to make a piece of software that, that sort of does that. So we'll pick the Mac version because I'm on a Mac. And I think this just automatically comes down and uninstall or uh, unzips or something. Because I don't have to do an unzip on it, although when I put them up on the website I certainly do. And by the way, if you do get a chance down here, uh, if you like the program and it works for you and it's convenient, uh, please uh, consider a small donation. Every little bit helps. I really appreciate it. So now let's go ahead and go into the downloads here. Right, let's go look at it. Alright, so now we'll right click and say open. Alright, now we can open it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't signed it or anything. It's no big deal. It's actually uh, Unity, so we're going to start up the Unity player here. And uh, you can certainly pick uh, whatever uh, uh, size you want, or go windowed if you like. I suggest you go fastest uh, mode. And I'll hit play. So it automatically generated a, a maze. So you can say how big you want the maze. If you go too large, though, the larger you go, the smaller and the smaller and the smaller. I'm zooming out with my mouse wheel here, to, for example. The smaller the lines will get. Uh, to make it fit in the window and if you go too far out, you probably, this is probably even too far out uh, uh, the screen capture to a JPEG or a PNG file um, probably a JPEG uh, won't show enough resolution or be start missing some of these lines so I suggest you go small, relatively small in the numbers in fact, uh, you know, uh, whenever you do one you should probably zoom in as far as you can just to get uh, nice bold lines to see for the tracing program don't worry about the text down here it's just doing a summary of uh, uh, what we're uh, talking about today and I see some spelling errors in there already oh well so if you don't like that one you can always hit regen uh, regenerate and I think it probably does these in series from a pseudo random number generator um, if somebody wants to know what those numbers are and be able to set them again as a seed, we can certainly do that. Just let me know. Um, but I'm going to do something that isn't quite as large. I wanted to do some wider channels and narrower walls in this one. So we're going to do, uh, uh, let's do 15 by, whoop, and tab doesn't work, of course. It's a hack of a program. There we go, 15 by 15. We'll hit regenerate. And I want to find uh, one that where we take the path and we don't have too many of these outliers like uh, you know here we're gonna start here say we're gonna start here uh, we go down here I mean this is useless nobody's gonna go down there likewise here likewise here and so let's just uh, pick a few of them and if people like this I can certainly look into uh, alternative maze generation algorithms um, but for the time being uh, we'll see what happens it sure beats what I was uh, trying to do before. So I'm just going to plug away here until I find one that I kind of like. <clears throat> now this is kind of unique because uh, you could start at one of these ends here. Um, there's a little part that nobody's going to follow, a little part, a little part, and then over here. So it's not, it's not a terrible one. So I'm going to zoom in as far as I can on that. Actually, we need to not cover the uh, text because the text will get captured now. We'll go ahead and go full screen with this so we get a somewhat bigger image. I did try doing uh, export in SVG file format. However, when I did do that, I ended up with individual little parts that I used to make up this drawing. And then it would uh, just cut one little section at a time, you know, around the corner maybe. And uh, it just went really, really slow. So. I tried to uh, have this set up to do a export to a ping, save it as a ping. It would have turned out that if you had a high resolution display, that, L that routine that I had would, would hang. So I realized that just the easiest thing is just to do a screen capture. On Mac, of course, it's uh, uh, Command Shift 4, and then you can actually select what part of the screen you want to capture. And I'm just going to capture the maze. 
to make my life easy. And that goes to desktop. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up my favorite tracing program. All right, so there it is. It'll uh, generate here shortly. So that's the result. Let's export that as an SVG and see what that looks like. 24. There, that's more like it. Now let's import that SVG. A6. So we're going to go ahead and shrink that guy down so it fits. And now we'll bring up ESTL cam. So now with my quarter inch end mill here, I want to engrave uh, this as a pocket. So we're going to make a hole. We're going to take that guy. There we go. We're going to make sure we pocket that guy. So you can see that it's going to be quite a, a wide path, a little bit wider than the quarter inch end mill. So we could be able to get a, a quarter inch uh, <coughs> ball in there. We'll come back to that in a second. And we're going to, uh, let's do this one first. We're going to part this one out. And that is going to be the uh, holding tab height. So let's put some holding tabs on there. And let's do a finishing pass on this guy and we'll add finishing information up here. So we're going to go 2 and what do we have there? Let's go 10. And 10. We'll do the same thing for the V bit while we're here. Alright, so this guy here, we're going to have a finishing tool of the quarter inch end mill and we'll make it a three mil finish. <laughs> Likewise in here it'll be a quarter inch end mill and a three mil finish. We'll see if that'll work. Oh, come on. We'll see what happens with that. That may not actually be at work because of the width of it here but we'll give it a try. So that brings us back to this guy here, where we want a hole inside that represents the play field. And we're going to pocket that hole. And I've got some plastic that I'm going to use. It's uh, about 7 mil thick, so we need to make a 7 mil um, pocket in there. So we'll go in here 7. And then we're also going to use the finishing tool. It's the same thing, quarter inch end mil. And give that a, a 3 mil finish pass. Okay, and that's going to be pocketed. So now we're going to go 7 mil deep on that, which means on this we need to go deep enough for the quarter, uh, quarter inch uh, ball to fit. So a uh, quarter inch is what 6.35 mil. So if we go another 8 mil down, but let's start from the level that we already cut out, which was 7 mils. This guy is going to have to be uh, about 21 deep. There. All right. So now I think everything is set. So we're going to say project as May 6. And this is actually going to be job 2. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll save this guy out as May 6, job 2. So we're uh, cutting 6 mil deep here for 7 mil and another... Uh, 7 mil there it looks like for a total of 14 so I think that'll work we'll see how it comes out alright so now that we got that let's delete all this <coughs> and we're going to save this job save the file as job 1 before I forget we'll do a job and accidentally overwrite the other one <coughs> we're just going to run a V bit around the outside edge just to give the edge uh, a little more softness so we'll just do a v-bit engrave right there and we're going to call it um, I think 0.4 worked out or 4 millimeters worked out in the past and we use the same finishing tool so let's save this project and that's going to be as uh, job 1 and then we're going to export uh, or save the CNC program as job 1 so that's going to be the v-bit and then we have one last thing to do. We're just going to uh, make a job that will cut the plastic for the window. 
right, so let's go ahead and say save this job as. And this is going to be job three. And for this job, we are going to cut a part of this uh, spot there. And uh, it's about seven millimeters deep. Should put some holding tabs on there. And the toolpath depth is going to be seven. Let's make it eight because it's uh, like seven mil thick. We should be using the uh, M mil here for this. So we'll go just like that. And let's go ahead and use the finishing tool on it too and see how that works. That's the quarter inch end mill. And I think that's it. So I'll save that once again. It's job three. And then we're going to export or save the CNC program as job three. Let's take a look at that and see if that makes sense. Well, makes sense. Seems like it. We'll give her a try and we'll see what happens. So I'll move all these things to a flash drive and we'll go downstairs and uh, give it a try. That didn't come out too bad. Obviously, uh, I didn't have much margin on the edge here. We have a holding tab that goes to nowhere. And I forgot to put my holding tabs down to, you know, maybe four mils. So I've got them full height. But we will uh, take a look at this, clean it up a little bit, and, uh, and see how it looks. Meanwhile, we need to cut job three. <laughs> So let's see if I can cut that with my little uh, keyhole saw here. Actually, the edges aren't too bad. We got a little bit of a step there on that one side. But the other sides seem really nice. We'll have to sand off those little uh, holding pieces. I bet you that's going to fit in there really, really snug. They uh, give it a light, little light sanding. As you can see, I thought I was square, but obviously I'm not. But it does uh, fit that way very nicely. All right, so let me get this cleaned up a little bit and we'll come back. Well, there you have it. I sanded it down a little bit and I uh, hammered the uh, <laughs> plastic into there with a with the board on top. I, I caught a little... Uh, a bit of the edge there and sheared it off, but uh, the wood, but that's in there pretty darn tight. I don't know, I suppose I could screw it down, but uh, I suppose if you drop it, it might come out. But in any case, I've got the little uh, quarter inch uh, ball bearing in there, so we can play with that. It's pretty cool. All right, here it is. Thanks for watching.